Well, welcome to another Tech Review Tuesday. And I thought I would show you my phone. Now, this is a Qbot Quest Lite. And it runs Android 9, uh, 3 gigs of RAM, and it's a very cheap and rugged smartphone. Now, trust me when I say it's rugged, because this thing has fallen off my bike. My phone. I think it's still working as well. Stop, 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 stop. Huh? Still working. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is the main use of this phone that I use it for? Music, podcasts, email, bit of YouTube, and uh, maps, which is something we all use. Um, of course, my map of choice is Google Maps. It works absolutely fine, and it is a very decent smartphone and it's waterproof that's it's very durable and it's waterproof which makes it a fantastic bike sat nav or a sat nav for your motorbike or whatever the only downside with it um is that well it's cheap so it doesn't have the best feel perhaps it doesn't have an audio jack but you're not really using one so it's fine with bluetooth uh, the battery life is about a day it's standard battery life not you know if you're using it all the time of course it's going to go down but it will run dead in a day it's not the biggest phone either so it doesn't have the best biggest battery but it is it is completely waterproof and it has lasted over a year with me and my abuse the really bad thing with this phone is the camera the camera is just awful um, even with like the things and stuff. Look how long it takes to take a picture. So let's take a picture of this, put that there. Watch me, I'm going to take a picture. I'm pressing the button now, pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button, and it takes the picture. It's okay if you're not moving, but watch what happens if I just move a little bit of picture. Did it take the picture? There we go, it took the picture, and it's just an absolute blurry mess. So the camera is absolutely garbage, but the satellite navigation is fine. And if you're like me, someone who likes to check schematics, talk settings and stuff, quickly Googling something on the phone in your workshop, as you can see, this, this phone has even recently taken some more hits because it's been knocked off the desk. You can see it's got a hairline crack along the screen protector again. Luckily, these screen protectors do save the screen from cracking um, all the way through. But yes, it has fallen off my desk a couple of times since me changing it and just me working around this thing. It is a very grubby, oily phone that gets all sorts of tools, spanners and stuff thrown at it. And because it is such a cheap phone and it is such a durable phone, it doesn't matter if it gets, you know, scratched and battered sort of thing because that is what it's going to get done. Um, it, that is what I am just literally using it for as a sat nav. So if you're looking for a cheap Chinese phone, or a cheap phone anyway, it doesn't have to be Chinese, but this one just happens to be, of course, well, everything's made in China anyway. Um, this has, this is the Quest Lite. I'll put a link below, but remember, the only golden rule is when you're looking for one of these phones, um, you want three gigs of RAM, because their RAM is inferior, so two gigs is not good enough. You need to have that three gigs of RAM. It doesn't matter anything about everything else really so much. It's just that three gigs of RAM, otherwise it will chug and run slow on Google Maps. Um, and then you want, um, yeah, something waterproof. But yeah, I'll put a link below. I've had this over a year. You can still get them. Um, they're around £100, so, and they are cheaper than having a Garmin or something like that and they work pretty well especially with offline maps um, so you don't even have to have a sim card in you can just use it as a blank phone you can take out your sim card you know stuff like that oh yes um, it can also take 128 gig memory in there as well which is what is I think it's uh, 32 gigs internal and I've got another 128 gig SD card in here so I just don't worry about it and I've got all my music on there from my computer probably like 20 something gigs of music is on this thing plus like another 20 gigs of audiobook or something and whatever podcasts keep getting downloaded to this thing that I slowly listen to so yeah um, oh yes and it's got a fingerprint scanner as well and uh, oh yeah uh, a torch which is also very handy 
Um, but yeah, uh, that's it. Any questions? Whatever. But yeah, that's my phone. One year of use. Thanks for watching.